In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of a given parabola. For a parabola, there are three equations that can be used. We have the standard form, then the turning point form, and the x-intercept form. When you are given a parabola and asked to determine the equation, it will depend on the information given on the sketch with which one of these three equations you start off. The information is then substituted into that equation, then it's simplified to determine all the different variables. Let's go and have a look at some examples. Determine the equation of each of the following parabolas in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So even though we might not necessarily start with the standard form equation, that is the form in which we need to give our final answer. In the sketch, we are given the turning point of the graph as well as an extra coordinate. So now it is important for you to know that the turning point indicates the minus p and q values in the turning point form of the equation. You can also already recognize that the final a value should be positive because this graph is concave up or a happy face. So I'm going to start off by substituting the p and q value into this equation. Now the p value is always the opposite sign of the x of the turning point, so that would be minus 1, and the q value stays as it is. Here we now have y, a, and x as variables, but we are also given an extra coordinate on the graph. So we can use that and substitute x with 4 and y with 5 in our equation. After this, we'll be able to solve a. Firstly, I will add the 4 on the left-hand side to get 9, and on the right we have 3 squared, which is 9 times a. And dividing both sides by 9, I will get that a is 1. This is that positive a value that we identified right at the start. So now the equation looks like this. In place of a, we have 1. In p's place, we have minus 1. And q is minus 4. And all that's left to do now is simplify so that I can ensure to end my final answer in standard form. And because a is 1, I can immediately simply square that bracket and then still subtract 4. So my final equation is x squared minus 2x minus 3. Remember that we can also at any point ask you for the domain and the range of the graph. In our examples case, the domain will be all x values, and this can be written as x is an element of real numbers. And then the range of this graph is when we read from bottom to top, so that will be all our y values bigger or equal to the turning point y value of minus 4. In example 2, we can say that the final a value should be a negative value because the graph is concave down. If we have a look at what information was given, we have been given the two x-intercepts as well as another coordinate in the form of the y-intercept. Therefore, we are going to start off with the x-intercept form of the equation. So, now I can start substituting. The first x-intercept is at minus 2, but be careful, the equation also has a minus in it. And the second x-intercept is at minus 1. And now we can simplify this to say a times x plus 2 times x plus 1. And now again, we have three variables, but we were given an extra coordinate. So now it's important to realize that this extra point is actually the coordinate 0 and minus 4, which we can substitute into x and y's place. So y changes to minus 4, and both the x values will be substituted with a 0. If we simplify, we'll have a times 2 times 1, which means that 2a is equal to minus 4 and that a is minus 2. Now I can substitute that a value back into the equation 
and then simplify. So to simplify, I'm first going to multiply the two brackets to get x squared plus 3x plus 2. And finally, I multiply the minus 2 in to end with minus 2x squared minus 6x minus 4.